Florida cop arrested for wearing Guy Fox mask at Obamacare rally. You can't have somebody actually having freedom in this country. And this is the story of Erickson Harrell, age 39. He's a police officer. He was protesting Obamacare and he had a he had an upside down flag. And he was asked by the police to remove his mask and identify himself. He refused multiple times and was arrested. I'm not exactly sure what the laws are in Florida, but in the state of Oklahoma, if you're asked to identify yourself by an officer, you're supposed to do it if the officer has reasonable cause to come and suspect that you have some wrongdoing. Wearing a mask or holding a sign and being at an anti-Obamacare rally is not a crime. And you can see this footage that we shot. Now, this isn't that particular rally. This is some uh, stock B-roll footage that we had. But a guy was wearing a mask just like this, peaceably assembling, just like you see these guys doing here. And the police came up and said, hey, uh, you're going to tell us who you are or you're going to jail. And the guy said, fine, I'll go to jail. And this is what we're talking about. When we talk about police, military, you're not immune to this. Just like every week I go out to the uh, the state capitol building and see DPS uh, arresting lawful legal gun owners, just like when the guys went to Dallas for the JFK memorial service and people were arrested out there, people were harassed, physically assaulted by the Dallas Sheriff's Department. And this is what happens. So keep in mind, when we say that you're not immune from this, police, military, remember this, keep this in mind because it could be you very well someday when you stop going along with this police state propaganda. Vaporized. Detroit obliterates retirement funds, 80% cuts to pensioners. This is going to affect everyone. So my question to the city of Detroit, uh, the mayor, the city council, are you guys taking any pay cuts up there? Because I've seen situations like this. Back before I worked here at InfoWars, I was working for Tulsa County, and the lady said, uh, the HR lady said, excuse me, son, do you want to sign up for the retirement plan? And I was like, no, I don't want to sign up for a retirement plan. Because even at that time, mainstream media, I believe it was on 60 Minutes, did a story about a gentleman who worked as a firefighter. And then he had to go back after his retirement and become a mall cop because there's no money to pay him his pension. So I knew that, well, maybe that lady will get her retirement fund someday, but I knew I wouldn't get mine. So uh, if you're in that kind of situation, I suggest you hold on to your money and invest it in something worthwhile. And also, uh, I guess, just not be a sucker to the system because it will burn you in the end. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show. <laughs>